English 011 Listening, Unit 6, Money. Unit 6, Money, Objectives. By the end of Unit 6, you'll be able to distinguish the main ideas and four main topics from an informal lecture about the history of money. Discuss the history of money. Indicate the trading and shopping systems before the invention of money. Explain the common currency and what kind of currency people used before they had money with special reference to China, Greece, and England. State when people started using coins and how banks were started. Unit 6 Listening Track History of Money You can click on this link to listen to the track. Listening Skill Listen to the lecture about the history of money by clicking on the following link or an audio file attached above. After you listen, Check the four main topics that are discussed in the lecture in the following discussion forum. Let us now begin. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Your Money or Your Life. First, we're going to take a look at a movement that is becoming popular in small towns and communities across America, and that is the trend toward local currencies. That's right. Some small towns are issuing their own banknotes that are valid only in the local community. We have a report from Tom in Wilkes, Nebraska. Tom? Hi there. I'm here in Wilkes, and with me is Adrian Moore from the Chamber of Commerce. Hello, Adrian. Hi. Now, I'm holding a beautiful banknote. I just bought this at City Hall. It feels just like a regular dollar bill, but it's blue. And it has a beautiful picture of, I guess this is a lake? Yes, that's right. It's Lake Washington, um, about five miles from here. It's done by a local artist. Now, on the note, it says one hour. One hour is about $10. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, what other notes are there? There's a one, a five, and a ten, plus a half hour and a quarter hour. Okay. So where can I spend this money? You can use it uh, just about everywhere. All the businesses downtown. Coffee shops, bookstores, uh, department stores. Plus, you can use it for services. Building contractors, painters and decorators, nanny services, artists, oh, uh, you name it. They'll accept this just as if it was a regular dollar bill or ten dollars? That's right. The money is legal tender wherever it's accepted. And how much money is in circulation? About 20,000 hours so far. Why did you decide to do this here in Wilkes? Well, the idea is to stimulate the local economy and to keep moving keep money moving around the community. Uh, a lot of money was leaving town because people were spending it in chain stores that uh, came from out of state. We wanted to encourage shoppers to shop locally. And if you use your own currency that's different from the dollar, then it's easier for people to see where their money's going. How many businesses accept these? Oh, uh, more than 300. <laughs> We, we publish a newsletter and we list all the businesses that accept the currency. And what do the businesses do with the money? I mean, can they cash it in or...? Well, they can cash it in, but that's not the objective. What we want to do is keep the currency in the community. Employers use it to pay part of their employees' salaries, or they pay for local services with it. So, you see, it, it recirculates. It goes back into the community that way. The idea of local currency is not new. Americans have been doing it since before the American Revolution, and it's still popular. Apart from Wilkes, several other communities in the United States have also issued their own currency. There are real dollars in Lawrence, Kansas, valley dollars in Greenfield, Massachusetts, greenbacks in Brooklyn, and in Canada they have Toronto dollars. I see that on the back of the bills is written, In Wilkes We Trust. It's really about trust in the community, isn't it? When you use these, you're trusting that they'll keep their value and that people will continue to accept them. I guess so. Yes, we're a very trusting community. From Wilkes, Nebraska, this is Tom Cohen for WXBC. Okay, now let's look at the four main topics that were discussed in a lecture. The first one we have is a common currency. The second one we have 
examples of a common currency. The third one we have. The first coins, banks, and paper money. And the fourth one we have. The gold standard. Now, I want you to listen to the lecture again. As you listen, choose the correct answer to complete each statement. Please pause your screen and listen on your own. I will now review the answers. Number one, it's not always convenient to trade by exchanging goods because A. You can't always get what you want when you want it. Number two, a common currency is something that B. Has value for everybody in a society. Number three, beads, shells, tools, and grain were all a. Used as currency. Number four. The English currency is called the pound because b. Grain was used as currency. Number five. The first coins appeared a. Around 600 BC. Number six. The first banks were b. Places where people kept grain or gold. Number seven. Banknotes were originally B. Receipts. Now, prepare a wiki on the history of money indicating the trading and shopping system before the invention of money. Listen to the lecture again and write a blog on the common currency and what kind of currency people used before they had money, with special reference to the currencies of China, Greece, and England. Listen to the lecture again and prepare a wiki on when people started using coins and how banks were started.